Hello everyone, I'm Mr. Mocha Lover, and thank you for joining me here. So, right now we're playing as the MCR in the Old World Blues mod. Um, right now, I'm taking a quick look at Hanlon, Chief Hanlon. Right now, because of the way my divisions are structured, I actually basically can pull him off of this area here. And then, actually, is that a land bridge? And then begin, hopefully, a soon, a quick invasion of Kaisar's Legion. Now, right now, I didn't realize... That before there was, or maybe ever, there is now a connection between Kaisar's landing here over to the rest of Kaisar's territories. That's very interesting. What we could do is push through here and then get a nice landing across the river, the Colorado here, so that we can do very, very well. This is a, or Gila Estuary, I suppose. So we could probably do that with these few divisions from Joe O'Malley, which are pretty good. They're they're veterans, or they're not veterans, they're regulars, I mean. Only 19 combat width. I haven't decided yet whether I'll add in some more machine guns, but I forgot about Chief Hanlon, which is actually really great, because... Ooh, there's a lot of ports. Um, just because I'm going to need a lot of small defenders, some of these divisions are getting ready to be made, and... but they're not quite ready yet. So Chief Hanlon, he can be my backup forces just in case. Now, because we'll end up in a war with the White Legs, when I do go to war with Kaisar's Legion in this video, using Chief Hanlon and, of course, Colonel James II, I can go to war and hopefully stamp out the White Legs quick enough. They, they have no manpower, because I didn't realize this, but Kaisar's Legion and his allies are at war with the Mormon Alliance. Now, I don't know how long the Mormon Alliance will hold out, but the longer the war goes, the better for us. So, and with the de small defenders group, I will use them to defend ports as soon as some are made. And hopefully eventually defend my lands against the Western Brotherhood. But if I can make a quick enough push against the White Lens, or White Legs, whatever they're called, that could turn the war basically in our favor the entire time. And if the Brotherhood attack, well then that wouldn't be very good. But, Brotherhood, how much divisions do you have? How many? Up to 102, that's... Holy crap! That's a ton of manpower! What did they do? How many babies have they made? Have they cloned themselves? Man, this kind of honestly needs maybe... A little bit more different icons for National Spirits. Holy crap, so... Right now, I did check out Kaiser's Legion and a couple other areas around the country. This part of the country, or the continent. In which, Kaiser actually has more planes than me. I didn't realize that. So right now, I'm going to make more salvage fighters because that's all they have. They don't have dive bombers as much, but they do have a lot of fighters. About 450 some. So not bad, not bad. Uh, you guys are my backup motorized divisions. Actually, go ahead and train for now since our power armor guys aren't doing so hot. Oh, oh, New Reno. Oh, they actually did it. Nice, good job, guys. You finally finished that stupid war against that stupid little enclave you had up here. Not the enclave, but, you know, the... Finished up the war against that little territory up there. Cool, now we have the focus finished, so we can go to war against Kaiser's Legion anytime. Let's see. Getting into a war with Kaiser is always a lot of fun, I hear. Weapon, weapon standardization. I do want faster production of planes. Let's go with the bear port. That'll be good. Does this war justification ever go expire? No, it doesn't, no. Yeah, my words are being very difficult with me today. I don't know why. I'm not special or anything, but my speech isn't very conductive to what I want to say. Oh, well. Um, yeah, so basically, I'm literally right now just waiting for some of these, some of these small defenders to be made. So that I can put them on ports if I need to. Um, somewhere like here, but then also to defend against the Western Brotherhood, because that's a lot of manpower. They have a lot of divisions. Um, Steel Rain. Ooh, audience with the Emperor. That's kind of cool. I mean, in the end, if I have to go to war with the Western Brotherhood eventually, so be it. I mean, yeah, someone did, didn't did like that I um, had a non-aggression pact with New Vegas, but at the current moment, the Great Cons, even though they're not doing terrible, they're actually allied with Kaisar's Legion, and I don't want to have another front here. I don't have as many divisions as I would like if I have another front up here, so. If I took over this area, I would have another front. I don't want to deal with that. I mean, 
Actually, that'd be one hell of a... That would be a big front against Kaiser's Legion up here with the White Legs and then the Great Khans. So that... Dividing my fronts up like that would probably be for the best. But anyways, they are my core. Like, their territory is my core, and I can actually pierce their division. So I can get rid of the non-aggression pact within a year. We'll have a great time. Mr. House won't have a great time, so not too worried about that. But since we're not going to attack these guys at the current moment, I can probably retire these guys to go somewhere else. Small defenders, those divisions that I'm currently making that are 10 combat width, they'll go on the ports for the most part, as well as some of the Brotherhood. But... I have a ton of divisions. Jesus, this is a little terrifying. But, alright, so let's go ahead and do this. You guys, I'm actually, I'm, I'm tempted to cut you guys in half. Half of you come up here. That's 12 divisions. And then the other half will go on the other side of this part of California. Now, obviously, we still need more divisions, but we're still making more anyway. So, that's good. You guys are ready to invade ruby oh ruby hill oh whatever that's fine i mean doesn't really matter i have a non-aggression pack that's fine totally fine with me finally we have some of these guys as well nice so we've got some of these small defender divisions uh i got well, quite a bit of political power very interesting oh we can afford it so let's do that um wait did i hire some oh there they are okay craig Poindexter. Nice, he's a defender too. That actually works out really well for us. So, uh, if I lose a north, so be it. That actually looks kind of nice now for New Reno. Uh, they have a ton of divisions. Honestly, for 10 divisions, if I put you over here, that wouldn't be terrible. Uh, put you over here since you have 10, and I don't need 10 divisions over here yet, but we'll see what happens. Can I do anything over here? Not yet. Alright, mobilize. Bearport. At the current moment, I'm literally just waiting. Well, let's get at least one more for Death Valley Airport. But waiting just for maybe for a few more divisions, a few more planes that I can use against Kaisar's Legion. Because they are bogged down trying to fight the Mormon Alliance. Which is great. Which is really, really awesome. So, Kaisar's Legion lost 5,000 guys, which is good. They have a ton of factories. Not as many as me, but they still have the White Legs. Uh, against the Mormons, who have... 12,000 losses. Not bad compared to between both, especially if the Mormons have half of the factories and a few less divisions than Kaisar and his allies. Alright, next up for a ship. I'm making a barge. I'm actually making one of everything. That's not too bad. Do the sailing ships have torpedoes on them? They actually do. Oh, God. I can't add anything. Oh, actually, I can add things to this. Oh, that does slow it down, but does it does give them more armor. Ah, if we can do that, you know what, let's do that. Let's see, what am I using currently? This is a rapid fire light cruiser battery. Oh, I go from level 1 to 3 to 4 for anti-air. I doubt I'll need it, but whatever. Better torpedoes? Oh, can't do that. And anti-air medium. Yeah, not bad. That's not bad. Shaling sip, you're halfway done. Uh, I'm probably not going to remember to switch this over, but whatever. Um, b Super heavy barges. This looks honestly really awesome already. Probably don't need to change that. My destroyers. Yeah, throw some of those bad boys on there. Give me two of those, because we can just get level 4 anti here anyways. Light battery ones, nothing over here. Torpedoes are pretty garbage, and that's pretty normal. Nice. Uh, sailing ship. I didn't check the barges yet. Nice. These are capital ships. These are light cruisers? Is this the equivalent of a light... Maybe... Equivalent? Not of a light cruiser. No. I was thinking heavy cruiser. So this is basically the heavy cruisers of this mod. Fire control system zero. That's fine. Nothing there. Nothing there. Secondary batteries. Get a little bit of armor. That'd be kind of nice. Secondary batteries. That's fine. That's fine. Level four, please. And then, another heavy, oh, that actually gives you quite a bit more heavy attack. More HP. Um, well, we might as well add it on, because why not? Cool. So I'm not going to remember all this stuff, so let's do this, this, uh, do, keep that the way it is. Do that, follow it up with this. 
I'm just going to try to keep everything exactly the same. The boneyard, the boneyard. We got those two, and I need a sailing ship next. Nice. Cool. So those will get done. Those are great. Navy. Let's go to our Navy doctrine and stuff. All right. Nice. We got a couple extra ships. We have another capital ship here. Nice. Awesome. Uh, because you don't have a capital ship, I'm just going to tell you guys to merge. I always want at least every single group to have at least one capital ship in its waters. Good, 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 good. Is there, I think that's the only area that we can really patrol at the moment. Now, the Brotherhood attacks. I'm going to be in a, we're going to be in one bad situation. Like a really, really bad situation. Actually, you know what, for right now, go ahead and just make more military factories than anything else. I could really use that. Yeah, we don't need that airport anymore. Because I will lose the air war once we go to war with Kaisar's Legion. Um, If I don't make any more planes right now. So, better research speed, please. Thank you. Oh, the robot scavengers return. Nice. Bonuses to scavenging for robot stuff. Awesome, guys. Awesome. Power armor, vehicles, robots. Oh, I wish I could get more planes, but I can't. Uh, oh, physical blueprints. More efficiency cap and growth. Awesome. Engineering. Reinforce rate. Radar. Oh, radar could always help. Actually, let's go with radar since we can get even more range with that. When's the next group of soldiers being done? So once this next batch of defenders are done, I might go ahead and go to war with... Kaisar's Legion, because right now we're just taking a look at the war between them and the Mormons first, and I just want to gauge how strongly uh, the, the Mormons might be winning or losing. Um, nice. Oh. Cool. I don't want to do this stuff because that lowers our defense, planning speed, and max planning, so I don't want to do that. Oh, nice, we got heavy machine guns. Nice. That's not too bad, then. Recon would be nice. Anti-tank piercing. Can't do this. Oh, more trickleback might be nice, too. Let's get that since we already use those things. More machine guns. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you, thank you very much. Nice. And just, yeah, military factories all the way, man. Alright, so let's take a quick look. Oh, wasteland car. Nice. Mormon Alliance. Oh, the Grand Tribes are fighting... Kaisar's Legion as well. Uh, where are the Grand Tribes? Oh, wait, you... You as well? You're fighting Kaisar's Legion? Ah, oh, good. Uh, manpower of Kaisar's Legion. Holy crap, when did they get that much more manpower? Interesting. They have less divisions than what they started with a while ago. So it really looks like Kaisar's Legion is really gearing up for an incredibly massive war, which is fine. Totally fine. We're gonna win in the end. Somehow, some way, I will find a way to win. But, uh, hmm. Come on, divisions. I need you to be, you know, created faster. Right now, our production of planes has gone up a little bit better, but obviously, I need more planes. So, I don't, I hate doing this, but I kind of need to. There you go. We got plenty enough support equipment right now. Oh, waste on cars. Oh, yeah. Definitely get better cars. Nice. Oh, it's an actual infantry division. Uh, I could throw you any somewhere else, but right now I could really use more divisions defending against the Brotherhood. But yeah, Kaiser is definitely divided on his attention. So the Mormons, the White Legs, those guys are doing okay. Oh, actually, the Mormons in have taken a little bit of Kaiser's land. Oh, and they're getting cut off immediately. Ah, beautiful. Ruby Valley Refuge. You're fighting. Ruby Valley. Huh. Nice. Oh, thank God. Oh, we got some NCR heavy troopers too. Nice. Three guys over here. That might be enough divisions actually for our guys to... Yeah. Almost completely guard the entire line there. I have two divisions here. You guys can stop training probably since you're probably good enough. But where is this? That might actually pull us in. If they're at war with... If Ruby Valley Refuge is at war with Kaisar's Legion, then that might be good for us. I 
Oh, they're over here. Um. Wait, you're at war with. Oh, you're. Over... Uh... Huh. Pale folk. Oh, they, these guys are on scraping the barrel. 55% recruitable population. Holy crap. Old world tactics. If I invite them to my faction, I could help them take out their enemies, and they, and they might help us take out Kaisar's Legion just in case. Interesting. Wait, what is this? Loyalty. All right. That's very interesting to think about. Uh, just continue for right now. Supplying or putting divisions over here. I know it's a mix-up of divisions. Actually, for these guys, they can probably actually border the Brotherhood. They should be okay with that. There you go. Go ahead and do that. You might be okay defending against the Brotherhood if they attack. If they attack Pale Folk. Oh, man. I, I kind of want to go to war with them now. Because right now, that could open up a wider front... Oh, wait, hold on. Oh, but... Wait, why are you guys at war, then? Ruby Valley has an impassable terrain against these guys. Why would I... Ugh. I need to look at the map a little closer. Terrible. So, now this should be good for up here. So, yeah, I'm not going to invite these guys to the faction. That'd be a waste of time. Expanding the bear focus. Very nice. Just keep throwing more infantry on this, on this group here. Yeah, if I get attacked by... The Brotherhood now. I don't know if I can hold the line against them. So, I mean, we do have piercing for pretty much all my divisions. So I'm not too worried about that. We might be able to pierce the enemy's divisions, but we'll see what happens. Come on. Just build up a ton of these things. Since I have quite a few civilian factories or arms workshops, something like that. Cool. And I already have a lot of forts along the line here as well. Oh, god. oh my god, there's a ton of forts. Nice. So, the one up north is done. Over here could use a few more divisions, but with using enough outposts, we should be okay. At this point, the war between... Oh. Oh, I guess Kaiser's Legion got these people trapped here too. Come, I just, I just want more planes. I'm just worried about planes. That's pretty much all I'm worried about. Not having enough. Expanding the Bear Air Force. Ah, and when bears fly, and this will help us produce more planes. Bone dancers, declare war on the bone pickers. All right, uh, let's do that. Oh, we get more free dockyards. Hopefully, our navy is good enough for what's about to happen. No guarantees in life, but definitely see what happens. And also go to the bone yard. So, uh, put you actually on the bottom. Put you in the bone yard, and that's pretty much it. In which we're gonna have to go to war with that there. Uh, Legion. Actually, ooh. You guys you guys actually have another capital ship. Before I do that, capital, capital. Uh, you look pretty weak, so I'm going to throw you out of here. Well, gave you a few hours to merge over there while I stop letting you guys do this. And you'll do this. You guys will come over to Hoover Dam, because that's probably where we're going to fight. Oh, but they can probably attack my ports. Oh, this is going to be bad. This is going to be a bad couple hours, probably, for us. So, we might be able to break through here. Oh, and before I forget, Rangers. Rangers are going to be important. They might assume that I'm going to attack through Hoover Dam. I'm not. Four divisions should be good enough, especially if it has maxed out defenses. So, that should be good. That should be good. Rangers, you're going to actually probably attack... I don't think Nelson has... Yeah, Nelson has nothing over here, which is good. Ooh, where am I going to attack from? Because they're breaking into their lands. They have some divisions over here. It's not bad. Four divisions. We might be able to break through here. We definitely might be able to. But I think the best... Ah, oh, it's five divisions over here. Throw yourself over here. Pl get ready to plan. And I'm... Oh, happy, happy 2281. And I'm getting ready... Gearing up for going to war. So that's good. Kaiser, what are you doing? Naval, pro You're doing naval production? Huh. Well, alright then. They definitely seem to be losing maybe a few divisions, perhaps. Maybe? Maybe not. Maybe they're gaining divisions. I don't know. But we're ready to fight in against the White Legs. We're ready for a war with the Brotherhood. If things go south, if they do choose to not ally with us. And honestly, at worst, we're going to have a stalemate with the Brotherhood. At best, we're actually going to be able to push in.
So, at least that's my hope. Uh, let's get some better reinforcement. That would help. Cool. Because I don't know about their supply, but we should do okay. And right now we have an, a little bit of an excess amount of planes. So we got planes down here. We got fighters up here. But we're really trying to push in the north. So that'll be probably key for us to do. Deploy these guys up here. Do this. Do that. Do this. Do that. And actually, because... Oh, we have another 10 divisions. Great, great, great. Just give me another commander. Carl Stone. Hello, Carl Stone. For you guys right now, I'm going to have these guys garrison the very important ports around the area. Just because you never know what might happen. Do that. Do that. I guess I don't need all 10 divisions right now for this, but you never know. And you know what? Victory points... Eh, don't guard the victory points. If I do guard coastline, that wouldn't help out either. Give them, like, until, like, February 10th, and then I'll go to war. I know, it sounds like I'm trying to delay the war as much as possible. And I kind of am, honestly. But I know that war with Kaiser's Legion is one of the biggest things in this game that I don't want to mess up. I really don't want to mess up on it. How many ships does Kaiser's Legion actually have? 51 to 56 of... Oh, that's it's definitely a mixed number. Definitely mixed. Alright, that's good. We need more... Ooh, we actually need more metal. That's not good. I can't make any more ships without that. Any convoys? Eh, we're, we're pretty good in convoys. Go with the boneyard again. Uh, actually, isn't that a technology for us to research, like... More metal? Or do we... Maybe we can't make more metal. Oh, we can. We need basic smeltery. Power station. Foundry. Aquifer. Ah. Ah, there it is. Yeah, I definitely need to do that, so... Alright, I said I'd give them until, like, February 10th to get down to where they need to be. Just in case things go really, really south. So, now the combat divisions for Kaiser's Legion are pretty good. And let's go ahead and go to war. Let's see what happens. We got enough political power to do anything if we need to. We're going to call all allies in, and now we're at war with Kaiser's Legion. Now, this should have given my rangers more than enough time to push into here. I'm going to give them a force attack button. And people will probably be able to hold a Hoover Dam. Probably. Hopefully, ooh, everything turned red. Interesting. Now, I want to gauge to see what happens early on, just because trying to break in through areas might not be easy. Oh, but definitely for you guys. Take half of you guys to attack this way. Alright, so, we're at war. I can't call a new Reno. Oh, we're waiting for this response. Klamath? Who the hell are you? White legs, good. Mormons, we're here to not kill you. Yet. Alright, so we're not winning here. Call them white legs. Oh, hello! <gasps> Alright, so, White Legs are at war with us. Because we didn't go to war with New Vegas, at least we're going to send two divisions, two secure Tron divisions to help us out. Um, NCR Rangers? Yeah, baby, yeah. You know it. And you want to walk through our lands? Sure. Also, I do have coffee here. It's kind of watered, slightly watered down black coffee from Starbucks. Pretty good stuff. Hmm. So, because of that, we can go to total mobilization, but I don't want to lose... Recruitable population. I'm going to need the people. Let's go ahead and go to War Economy first. That'll be good. And Air War is... Going okay for now. Going alright. Alright, so we're winning initially across in the Luckett Camp. Um... I mean, if you abandon your lines, I'm going to just go right ahead and end you. Like, for real. Good, do that. They're not attacking at Hoover Dam. Good. Ah, uh, you guys, Cassandra Moore, you might be able to win here. I'm gonna push you this way. Yeah, I, yeah, maybe not. Uh, that's fine. Well, you never know until you try. Kaiser's Landing, though, will be definitely a good thing to take. Oh, we're getting navally invaded. Thank God I put these small defenders on the ports. Whew. Centurion Invictus, that looks freaking amazing. That looks awesome. Sandra Moore, do you have anything for me? Nope. Figured. Now, it's going to be interesting to see what the Brotherhood 
does. Just because if they attack me, I doubt they will, but if they do attack me, my divisions aren't like extremely good for defending against them. So, definitely see what happens. They need to do advanced communications before they can go to surface tensions, before they can do old bonds. Honestly, if I could take out Kaisar's Legion and we don't end up in like a civil war or something, like what I've heard before, I'm going to take out everyone, <laughs> probably. So, um, yeah, you guys don't need to attack that way. Please stop. Oh, boy, that's not good. Hold on. Actually, can you win here? If you... Well, anyways, I need you guys over here. Like, please move over here. Ah, uh, there's so many... There's just so many small little areas that have to be defended and whatnot. Oh, we're getting attacked over there. Very nice. Yeah, attacking through here is probably a bad idea. Have we... We've actually pushed over. Great. I want you to go ham. Um... Okay, you're not going ham? Please go ham. There you go. God dang it. I think we've lost the advantage now. Now we're getting attacked. You took so long that... Now you can't do anything. Now we're obviously going to be able to hold here for a while. Which is fine, which is nice. You guys, Cassandra, uh, not Cassandra, it's Joe O'Malley. Just hold on, don't, stop, 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 stop. Come here. And I've got to reorganize all this stuff. Which really sucks. Go ahead and push in through here, you, m I guess might not be able to win actually. They got too many forts. Now we're getting shelled from the enemy's ships. Um, how is the naval stuff going? Uh, do we not have naval superiority or something? We know too little about this region. We have 0%. Do they deploy all their ships over here, or...? Hmm. Very interesting. Alright, well, whatever. Well, we can't win at Khazar's Landing initially, but we are trying to drain them of their resources over here in this little area. Which is good. Go ahead and throw these back guys back in there. I'm going to try to drain the enemies of the resources as much as possible. Let's see. Um, next up, funding the uh, research speed, civilian workshop, efficiency cap, and growth. I could use more metal, but I don't see anything where to get more resources. Oh, I guess it's right there. That's pretty far locked away. Civilian construction speed, chem studies, hub crime... Yeah, not really a lot here. Base stability. Daily elite support. Interesting. Sea bear. Resource efficiency gain down here. Not bad. Hmm. Well, let's get Kimball's protege, because why not? Oh, we can actually invite the Grand Tribes to our faction. Would that help? Well, honestly, the way I'm looking at this right now is that they're, they're no alliance, and if they get taken over, they get annexed. So, but then when we finish off Kaisar's Legion, then we can just annex those lands in the end. So, I'm not going to ally with them at the moment. Oh, actually, our guys have been pushing through, or attempting to push through the Whitelands. Wait, new, new Reno f and NCR Rangers have refused our call. I mean, they're already in the war with us. Alright, well, whatever, man. Uh, so, I forgot that we weren't attacking through here. That actually probably wasn't a good idea on my side to forget about these guys. But, I mean, hey, we're, we're not doing bad. We can push in through here a little bit if we choose to select points to attack from. Not bad, not bad. Salvage bombers. Ooh, yeah, let's do salvage nuclear fighter. Those are good to do. You guys might need some extra support attacking this way, so I'm actually going to help you out. Never mind. Attacking sucks. Attacking is really bad. Oh, wait, are you guys... Do this area. And just don't lose this province. That's like the main thing. Like, we can drain them of their resources if we just keep doing this. Nice, we got better radar. That's good. We can't do this because we're not advanced. Well, god dang it, we're not advanced. Uh, let's build a foundry because I need some more metal. Obviously. Um, Just keep building more factories. That's pretty much what we need. Focus on the eternal sphere. We could use a little bit more stability. Because we always get more war support, so let's do that. We have no one else we can add as a political advisor. We have a protege. What are the losses? So we've lost a thousand men so far. Not okay. But Kaisar has lost 
1.4 thousand against us. Alright, well, I mean, could be worse. Could be worse. I do want to drain them around here, though, of their resources, which is good. I mean, they have a lot of men. Like, it's going to be a while before I can drain them. They're getting more and more men. Holy cow. But with the... Oh, they're actually winning now. That's not good. Go ahead and throw a bunch of boys in there. Not everyone, though. Like, they are attacking until their men are dead. Oh, my goodness. And we can't win through... Oh, god dang it. Planes. Planes, planes, planes. Southern California. Good. I don't have any extra planes. God dang it. Alright, really start wrapping up production on more and more planes, please. Give me more fighters. Give me more close air support. Actually, for right now, do that. Let them come up. Let them try to attack me. Hopefully. Because right now, their war against the Mormons aren't... Probably isn't going that great for them. Let's see. More defenders, nice. Six more divisions of defenders. What if I threw you on here? That wouldn't be bad, especially if we had to defend certain areas. Oh, the Securitrons over here. Nice. Can the enemies pierce the Securitrons? No, they can't. Nice. Good. I mean, my goodness. Who's... Oh, the Rangers are definitely taking a hit here. Nice. Very awesome. Draining the enemy of their resources. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Throw in a couple guys from here. Attack this way. Get Kaiser's landing, because if we can do that, we can just instantly push back into those lands as well. Um, next up, cars. Max speed, less reliability. Salvaged APC. Gives you more armor, which I like. Um, I could take New Reno's divisions, but honestly, I'm just gonna say nah. I'm alright, man. Thanks for the offer. I really do appreciate it, but right now, nah. I don't feel like it. I don't feel like commandeering your divisions. I'm a terrible general. That's alright, I enjoy it. Honestly, my allies are pushing so hard that they're wasting their own manpower, and I'm, I'm kind of enjoying it. You know, that's a terrible thing to say, but... Just keep pushing them in. Salvaged truck. Yes, please. Salvaged truck. Gun truck. Nice. Ah, a couple more infantry divisions. Uh, at this point, I'm probably just going to start filling a lot of lines out. Jeremy Cast... Oh, they're actually attacking up here. That's not good. Hmm. Alright, well. Jeremy should be doing alright. He's level 1. He's got a lot of ports and stuff up there. So. But so far, Kaisar. Kaisar. You have lost 3.3 thousand. 3, 3.4 thousand 3 to us right now. Attacking this one area as Julian, or maybe Julian, Stevens is getting better stats. And I love it. I love it, absolutely. Alright, throw the rangers back in there because they're going to be needed. These 40 width combat ranger boys. Oh, love it. And that's basically what I'm going to do. I'm going to start draining the enemy of the resources. We actually got Kaiser's Legion landing thing. And i got to reorganize this. Hold on here. So, let's take one, two, three, four. Four divisions. Probably good enough to hold the entry here. One, two, three, four. Come from here. That'd be good. And the rest of everyone, I'm actually going to peel off, probably. And when the war is over, I'm going to recombine armies together so that can be a little bit more organized. Cool. Throw you under a new commander. Jeffrey Reynolds. Immediately come up here and immediately attack through. And that'll probably be one of the last actions we actually take in this episode. Nice. We just got to keep an eye on this because they, they're just draining their own resources here. Which is amazing. Kimball's protege. We get General Lee Oliver. And we can deploy Lee's soldiers. General victory speech. Funding the followers. More research speed. Yeah, that sounds kind of nice. More infantry. Throw them out of here. Is there anything I can do around here, perhaps? White legs. Oh, they're out of... Oh, they're scraping the barrel, and they're out of manpower. That's really good for us. Uh, we really wouldn't be able to successfully attack too much. Go ahead and do this. Punish them as hard as you can. The white legs will probably fall eventually. That'd be great. Oh, man. Is anyone here getting, like, experience or something? Because, up oh, he's level 2. He was level 1 earlier. Awesome. Another general over here. Oh, we pushed in through. Nice. I want you to be careful just because I don't want these guys to overexpand. Overexpanding is a bad, 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 bad thing. Oh, crap. Everyone, hold. Come, come here. I cannot lose this tile because if I do, well, we're all kind of sunk. 
So we're just going to hold on to this tile as best as we possibly can. Because it's a really good starting point. Throw more soldiers over here. Um, for these guys, I'm going to convert a lot of my small defender defenders eventually into regular infantry. But we'll see what happens. Nice. Okay, not, not so nice anymore. For now, you guys can actually come over here, back to Kaiser's Landing, where we were originally. And add in some scrap yard dive bombers. Yes, please. Hopefully we don't lose it. I mean, if we do lose it, it's not the end of the world. So... For right now, send half of you guys this way. Oh. I don't want to lose all these guys. I might actually lose this. No, they're, they're coming over here. Yeah, we pushed in through, but we couldn't do very much. That sucks. But, hey, at least we did something. At least it sounded kind of nice on paper. Cool. So that's pretty much it for today. What have we done? Well, we managed to go to war with Khazar's Legion. We have also... Taking out quite a bit of the white legs, which is really awesome, actually. Um, we haven't really done much against Kaiser's Legion, unfortunately, but the casualties, they are mounting up for both sides, with me suffering about 3,000 casualties, compared to Kaiser's Legion, who's taken over 5.6 thousand against us. So, tomorrow, I know this video's gone on a little bit longer than usual, but for us, we should be able to expand at least a little bit further into Kaiser's land, and have a good time with them overall. Thank you very much for watching, guys. Leave a like if you liked the video, subscribe if you're new, and I will see you tomorrow as we have a great time with Kaiser. Thanks for watching.